This is a recast of the 3600 word piece. Mean square error, MSE, or mean square error, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. The article centers on the mean square error, or MSE, a fundamental concept in statistics and machine learning. It's frequently used as a standard for the accuracy of forecasting models. Basically, the MSE measures the average square difference between actual and predicted values by a model. This accuracy measure is significant in many areas, from financial analysis and medical prognosis to weather forecasting. Understanding and correctly interpreting the MSE is key for data scientists, analysts, and anyone dealing with the creation or evaluation of statistical models. The article provides a deep understanding of MSE as an error metric. It elaborates on its mathematical formula and significance through calculations and practical examples. In regard to its calculation, it's pretty straightforward. Firstly, you gather your data. Then you calculate the differences between the actual and predicted values and square these differences. After that, you compute the average of these squared differences. Finally, you interpret the result. A lower MSE value indicates better model accuracy. The article also compares MSE with other error metrics, such as mean absolute error, MAE, root mean square error, RMSE, and coefficient of determination, R squared. Each of these metrics has its strengths and weaknesses and is preferred in different contexts. However, because of its strict error evaluation and sensitivity to outliers, MSE is particularly useful in scenarios where large errors are highly undesirable. The article also talks about how to better handle MSE. Some of the challenges mentioned include dealing with scaling issues when target variable values lie in a very large or very small range, which can make MSE take on very large or very small values, complicating interpretation and comparability between different models or data sets. A potential solution for this scaling problem proposed by the article is data standardization or normalization before modeling to bring all variables onto a similar scale. This step can do wonders for improving comparability of MSE across different models. In scenarios where data relationships are not linear or when there are strong outliers in the data set, the article suggests using more robust error metrics such as median absolute deviation, MAD, or mean absolute error, MIE, as they are less sensitive to outliers. Another interesting point is that combining mean square error with other error metrics can provide a more comprehensive view of model performance. For instance, mean square error can be used alongside mean absolute error and R squared to consider both average error size and variance in predictions. It's also worth mentioning that the article gives an overview of relevant software tools for handling MSE, including Python's NumPy library and Scikit-Learn library, which make it easier to work with MSE in practice. Overall, the article does a great job of breaking down the MSE concept, its calculation process, interpretation, and how to handle it effectively in different scenarios. It's definitely a good resource for anyone involved in data analysis or machine learning. That's it for today.